came on, when that instrumental came on, that was the one. And that is what sparked the greatest freestyle ever out of Houston. That's not my favorite freestyle, but it's the most known. That's the one that Drake used and remixed when he did his So Far Gone tape. And that freestyle and that beat is what found his way to Canada, to Drake, and that's what Drake did. And that's what Drake brought it to the rest of the world. There were probably a lot, a lot of people in the world that knew about it as far as, you know, people move out and, you know, people hear about this and that. But to really just Put it on the map. What's good, everybody? Glass, Bitty Daddy Vlog Life, car vlog one time. Man, Crown Road, we still waiting on you. But hey, man, look here, my city, today is a very special day. Do y'all know what today is? Today is motherfucking June 27th, niggas. Yes, June 20, goddamn 7. For those of you that have been crawling under rock and unfamiliar with this Houston culture, June 27th is a motherfucking holiday. A serious holiday in my city. Okay, so first and foremost, let's go ahead and, and get some of these um, falsehoods out the way. June 27th is not DJ Screw's birthday. It is not DJ Screw's birthday. DJ Screw was born in July. June 27th is his homeboy who is a part of the Screwed Up Click demo. June 27th is Demo's birthday. So for those of you that don't aren't familiar and wonder like, well man, wait, who the fuck is Demo and how did this June 27th, how did this come out and how did and how did everything get started? Okay. History time. Let's go. Let's get it. So this is the history lesson. Before screw tapes, like when I'm when I say screw tapes, I mean official screw tapes, you know, three in the morning. Who's next with Plex? Way before Southside still holding, you know, before the 25 lighters, before the name screw tapes, before the Gray Maxell tapes that had his number on here. Oh, yeah, 289, that 108. Yeah, look here, yeah, 109. I think 109. Two. Anyway, the 289 number in the head is now. Okay, yeah. Before then, before those official tapes, Screw was making tapes for his partner. I don't know DJ Screw, never met him. Um, some of his partners from the Screwed Up Click were were older than me, and you know, big homies, shit like that. But it ain't about me. So anyway, if me and DJ Screw partners, I would call Screw Up, hey Screw, I need you to make me a tape. And you know, Screw Oh man, so man, what you want on your tape? I will provide Screw a list of songs that I wanted on my tape. Now, some songs he, he probably already had because, you know, I probably heard my partner tape, you know, and then certain songs on my partner said, yeah, man, I got to get that motherfucker on my tape. So when I give him my list, oh, yeah, man, let, let me go ahead and get this song. Let me go ahead and get this song. Let me go ahead and get this song. So he made customized tapes for his homeboys. He made customized tapes. So, uh, you know, every now and then, you know, boys, you know, they might, they might freestyle on the tape and do this and that. On, on particular beat. So Demo wanted his own tape. So Demo called Screw, hey, hey Screw, I want my own tape, this and that, this and that. And I really don't know how many songs is on Demo actual tape. I'd be lying to you if I told you, cause I really just don't know off the top of my head. So anyway, um, what Demo did for his freestyle, or, or what he want on his tape, Demo called all his favorite partners who was rappers, you know. He called everybody, hey, look here, man, I want all of y'all to come over. I want all of y'all to get on my tape, rap on my tape, and shit like that. So, everybody came over, and they was going through instrumental. So, niggas was trying to find out, like, okay, what instrumental we gonna use, this or that. 
and uh this is uh per youngster who killed it and big poe killed it but per youngster they in there they chilling and then that motherfucking that crisscross that motherfucking uh instrumental came on when that instrumental came on that was the one and that is what sparked the greatest freestyle ever out of houston that's not my favorite freestyle but it's the most known that's the one that drake used and remixed when he did his so far gone tape and that freestyle and that beat is what found his way to canada to drake and that's what drake did and that's what drake brought it to the rest of the world there were probably a lot a lot of people in the world that knew about it as far as you know people move out and you know people hear about this and that but to really just put it on the map you know shit like 10 years later 11 years later something like that drake did that so salute to drake and i take that back shit it might have been like 14 years later something like that but salute to drake on that so that's the the history of june 27th so you know on this particular day everybody is jamming screw the radio stations are having their own june 27 mix best believe all slab riders have banged the june 27 freestyle i don't give a fuck what side of town you're from or what neighboring place that you're from in and around houston that's what everybody's on today they had a, a mini slab holiday for june 27th uh where paul wall hosted something this past weekend i was out of time but he hosted some this past weekend they having a big event tonight where rappers are going and so yeah that's just the wave so when i think of june 27 i just you know i, I can reminisce back being in my neighborhood in Hiram Clark in brentwood i was dragging with come on side out to the 4200 block you know what i'm talking about i can just remember being in in my neighborhood that summer and you know we outside hooping and shit and right before boys started getting their hair cause somebody came from screw house and had the new tape and they put it on and like I say we played so many different games hoop games and shit like that you know niggas are shooting dice and everybody just just chilling and just jamming music and shit like that I just remember those times back you know later that night you know fresh Fresh shirt, you know, I don't know if it was college shirt, polo jeans or whatever. Um, I mean, polo shirt, starchy jeans, fresh tennis shoes, ball fade, page on my hip, going to goddamn stadium bowl, or drumsticks or something, parking lot pimp carol, because we were too young to get in, but hey, that's just my era. And just, that's what makes me remember my city. The time everybody was players, Riding candy, riding slab, looking at stars that you want to get at. Yeah, it was just a great, great time in the city. Like, you know, it always had jackets, but boys really wasn't concerned about, you know, that a whole lot. And just the wave and everything that was just going on in Houston, it was just, it was beautiful. It's still beautiful now, but just back then, man, it was just, just you just had to be there and it was something to remember. So that's what I think on June 27th. I've already jammed the freestyle earlier today when I get off here. I'm going to jam it again because I'm here to go pick up the girls. So I'm going to go ahead and get my fix in again. But yeah, man, y'all just pay homage. And y'all remember Screw because, I mean, Screw was always one that showed love. And the originator. And salute to Screw. Salute to Demo, man, for just bringing the idea and getting together. Everybody, Youngster Pokey, D-Pop, and just getting together. Just the whole crew and just the whole SUC to make something monumental because I don't think, you know, any of y'all saw what it would be like and, you know, how we, back in 2019, all these years later, and we still jamming it as though it just came out. So that's what I think of in Reminisce, man. Y'all go ahead and comment below and y'all let me know, you know, what y'all think of when y'all think about June 27th, what y'all reminisce, what y'all remember. Shit, man, y'all coach y'all, you know, who was y'all favorite verse? If it was Youngster, the first verse. If it was Pokey, if it was Youngster, that end verse. A lot of people don't know about that. Um, what's his name? I got about six or seven pounds from him. Yeah, that part too. Yeah, man, y'all just comment below. Y'all just let me know. Y'all June 27 experience, man. Y'all cold lyrics. Y'all just get at me and let me know. But, you know, that's just what I think of what I think of June 27. So, man, I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here. I'm going to holler at y'all. H-Time, Southside, Originator, 
vlog again too. You know what I'm talking about? Hey, hey, sign. Better daddy vlog like, hey.